Hi, welcome to another episode of Soap Queen Shorts. With this episode, I'm going to show you how to make the peacock swirl. I want you to know that this is not a complete episode in that I don't go over every single safety rule, how to choose oils, how to use fragrances and colors in detail. So we have four free episodes at soapqueen.tv for you to review for those kind of things. I'm just going to dive right into it. First of all, one of the things you definitely need for this is an empty squeeze top container like this. Cut the little end off to make the hole a little bit larger. I'm going to be using four different natural colorants. The first is annatto seed in sweet almond oil. The second is alkanet root powder, also in sweet almond oil. It's an infusion. Third is titanium dioxide. I've mixed this ahead of time in a little bit of sweet almond oil to help with the clumping. And finally, I have a little bit of green sea clay. I've mixed this in water ahead of time to help with the clumping. I'm going to be pouring this into one of Brambleberry's Baltic Birchwood molds and not using the dividers. I like it because it creates a flat horizontal surface that you can really see the design in. All right, are you ready to make soap? I've got all my oils pre-measured. Going to slowly add my lye water in, pouring into and over the stick blender to help reduce the amount of bubbles. Ideally, I'd like this mixture to be around 120 but 10 degrees over, 10 degrees under, totally fine. Now using my handy dandy stick blender, I'm just gonna bring this to thin trace. But first, I just burped the stick blender to make sure all the air bubbles trapped underneath it came up so I didn't get extra air bubbles in my soap in the end. Though I'm off camera and you can't see me, I am wearing my goggles and of course, I do have my protective gloves on. I am going to pour off a little bit of raw soap into four different squeeze bottles and then I'm going to color those squeeze bottles. Now I'm going to start adding my colorants and I'm going to go in order of lightest to darkest. So into our little guy here, I'm going to do one half tablespoon of my titanium dioxide mixture into this guy here. I'm going to do all of my sea clay mixture. So that equals one, about two tablespoons total. And I have a little bit left over if I want to use it. And then into here, we're going to go with our annatto seed. And I'm going to do two tablespoons of the annatto seed infusion. It's a little bit lighter. And finally, our alkanet root. one and I'm going to go with another one because I'd like it to be dark. Just going to put these little caps on, holding your finger over, shake, 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 shake. And when it comes off, it spoots a little, so just doop, there you go. Don't point it at anybody. And of course, make sure your goggles are on. Okay, shake, 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 shake. Notice the alkanet root has gone more of a grayish purple. I personally think that these four colors are going to look great together. I'm going to move these to the side and now we're going to add our fragrance oil. I'm using Brambleberries white tea and ginger because it gives me a nice long time to work with it. Final thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of titanium dioxide to this batch to make it extra white on the bottom to really make those colors stand out. And just to give this all an even mixture, I'm going to speed it up with a stick blender. And that looks good. We've got a really good trace right here. And now we're ready to get started. Pour your soap into your mold. Just pour it all in. Beautiful. Now, we're going to take our colors. We're going to work closely to the bottom. And you're going to add in easy rows. Okay, the next color we're going to be doing is going to be our yellow. And we really want it right beside that purple line. Okay. 
Next color we're going to be doing is our sea clay. Notice I'm pouring light enough so it's not this soap is not breaking through to the next layer. This entire design really happens on the surface of the soap. Clay tends to absorb a little bit of water and so this you'll notice that the the sea clay color is definitely thicker than the other colors. And finally we're going to go with our titanium dioxide and I'd like our titanium dioxide to actually be on the other side of the purple to really showcase some color differentiation. So I'm going to go like this. And now we're going to do the whole thing again and starting with the purple. So the key with the peacock swirl is just in the technique. So you go out and you go in, and you go out and you go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, and you do this all the way down and then you go and you do the opposite. So your out from the original size meets the in from the original side. You don't stick your little, in this case I'm using a chopstick, you don't stick it all the way through the soap, you just stick it through those layers that you did of the lines. I'm trying to match the feathers with the feathers. So up near the top, I got a little wonky, but I'm stuck following that pattern because that's what I did to start with. Looks like we're done. I feel like I want to fix this over here, but I'm just going to let it be because a little bit of fixing may actually ruin it. This is what the peacock squirrel looks like. Giant swoopy S's. And all you need to do is make the giant swoopy S's meet giant swoopy S's. And you repeat that through the whole mold. And finishing up, just do the last of the S curves. Whee!